Yo, peace and blessings, my people, peace and blessings. It's your brother Samuel. Today I want to talk about like keeping it real, keeping it 1000 with yourself, with people around you, like just keeping and walking in that integrity, man, that real energy, that real God given, like Holy Spirit vibe that, that you know, that's, that's full of truth, that's full of honesty, that's full of sincerity, that's full of pure, like, truth, pure love. You know what I'm saying? We have to make sure that we're checking ourselves on a daily. And, you know, there's a reason I want to bring this topic up, man. Because, like, you know, I, I, I try and walk with that energy as much as I can and, 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 you know, keep it real, especially with, with those people I genuinely care about. You know, I had, a, I had a scenario and it reminded me that I'm still human, man, that I still, like, I still, um, I still commit mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I can still, I can still miss the mark a little bit. And, um, to bring up a little example so like t today i was i was in the gym with my cousin and um he must he asked me something and he asked me out of like genuine curiosity and i, I gave i gave him like a sarcastic reply i gave him like a like an arrogant sarcastic reply and, and, and as soon as i said it i felt convicted by the holy spirit i felt like that that was not it like that was not it and, and, and you know there's, there's always a time for having a joke and having a laugh and having banter but like you see when you're in christ like there's nothing you don't you don't walk with that kind of that kind of arrogancy because you know that like God, God God can humble you at any time. I know I know that's the case for me. Like I've been humbled by the Most High many times in my life, and it made me realise like you know I've got to check myself too. I've got to make sure that you know I'm not just going with the flow all the time. That I'm thinking about what I'm saying. That I'm you know making sure that I'm remaining humble and grounded because obviously I didn't I didn't say it out of any malicious intent. There was no there was nothing behind it because my cousin knows and and it's why I'm glad like it's why it's good to have people who are around you righteous people who are around you who, who, who you can open up to and be honest and say look i'm sorry like i didn't mean that you know what i mean i missed the mark there um and they understand truly like and i know that i know that he gets it that's the thing like i know that he completely understood it because he's in christ too and he's made mistakes too so it's like it's a blessing to have those people around you because you know, i've always said to him like if, you know if, if i make a mistake if i'm wrong if i do something that's just out of whack i want to be corrected you know that's how you move when you're in christ like because god corrects me already so if, if my brother notices something, I want him to correct me. I want, to, I want him to check me and say, yo, that's not it. That's not how we're moving. That's not like, that's not no king energy. That's not no brother, brother, like brother energy, like respect and stuff like that's not it. Cause I'm all about respect, man. I'm all about respect. Like respect is everything. Showing and giving respect is, 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 is very important. You know, so if I'm coming across as someone who I genuinely like have a lot of care for, a lot of love for, and I'm giving them that arrogant, sarcastic reply, he can walk away with that and it, and it can look like it, it can give off just just bad a bad vibe man it can give off the wrong impression and that's not what i'm about man and like i say it says like if, if you if you if you sin against your brother like we have to we have to repent you know so i repented before him man and i was honest with him and, and I, i've repented to the most high and and the reason i'm bringing this up is because it's like you have to check yourself on a daily you have to be careful of the influence that you're around you know, because I'm taking full accountability as a man if I miss the mark. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you have to be careful of the certain characters that you're around and stuff. Like, this is why a lot of time when I'm in groups and stuff, I'll personally be more on the quiet side usually because it's like, I prefer to just like talk, talk, talk something real and, 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 and not rope myself in for the sake of it. You know, like I say, I'll have a laugh, I'll have a joke, but I have to always make sure I'm remaining grounded in Christ. And that's what it's about, man. We have to make sure we're remaining rooted and grounded in Christ. Because anything outside of that is from the evil one. You know, one small compromise is a foothold to the devil. You know, so me me compromising it in, in, in a sense where, like, maybe um, speaking to a certain certain person or, you know, bad company corrupts good manners. And it's absolutely factual, man. It's absolutely factual. So you have to stay true to yourself. You have to stay true to the most high and, and, and walk in integrity. Because if you don't, like I said, you can give... You can you can allow a loophole to be to be opened for the enemy to sink in and creep in. You can allow pride to get into your heart. You know, and, that, and that's that's there's nothing I hate more, man, than them, than people who are who they think they're better than you or they, they think like because they're in a certain position or anything like that, like in the world, you have to be careful of a prideful spirit. And and the reason I'm getting at that is because that's the last thing I want to be. That's the last thing I want to be. I want to remain the same person. Obviously, growth spiritually and this kind of thing, but I want to remain the same soul as I always have been. You know, so it's just it's just a quick message, man, to remind you, like, if, if you're a real one and you're rooted in Christ, like, always check yourself on a daily basis. You know, don't be too don't be too high to be reproved. You know, what I'm saying it says in the book of Proverbs, like, a, a mocker, a scoffer will, will be will 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 shun it, will shun it, um, 
you know, righteous, righteous condemnation. You know what I'm saying? If, if, I, if I sin against my brother, I want to be condemned. I want to be told. You know, a real one wants to be told where he falls short so we can correct it. You know, if I, if I get it wrong, I know there's wisdom to take in that and I want to move accordingly after, thereafter. You know, so just make sure you're checking yourself each and every day. And when you do that, you'll grow so much, man. You, you'll achieve so many new levels. And this is why it's so crucial to be around real, genuine people. Because real, genuine people who care about you will do these things. You know, there's no agenda behind the relationship. There's nothing to gain other than growing together, whether it be mentally, physically, and spiritually. You know, there's people who have got an agenda, people who have got a certain level of hateful energy. Like, there's always some sort of animosity behind it. And you've got to be aware of that. You've got to be careful of that. And I, I've, I've, I can... I can I can't even count on one hand the people who I've got that who who are like that in my life. You know what I'm saying? And my cousin, my cousin is one of them. He's genuinely like that, and it's like you know these relationships are important. People who who want to see you grow, who don't who don't try and bring you down, don't try, try and lower your frequency, but only try and exalt you up. They're the people you gotta stay close to, man. And that's why it's important to be honest with them and say, look, I, I'm sorry, like I, that I, that weren't me, and I, I don't want to do anything to affect this relationship. And, and, and me being honest like that. Being open and honest, not being prideful to say like I I I I I do wrong as well. You know what I'm saying? I am a human too, so I can I can be wrong in that way. But it's just having that open heart to be honest, man, and not letting the spirit of pride just be like, oh nah, it wasn't that deep, it wasn't that deep. You know, at first I said that like it wasn't that deep, but then I realised like nah, I'm I'm gaslighting here, like, and that's not me, man. I'll be honest if I felt or I fall short and I like you know not purposely I did that, but like I just realised like nah. Just fix up yourself. Don't try and push the blame. Or don't try and not take accountability. Like, be a man and take, take, you know, be honest. You know, so it's important, man. Like, the, re the thing I'm getting at is like, yo, you will grow. You will grow in so many levels if you just always keep it real. There's a saying that, like, I used to, like, there was a song that I used to like, and it was like, I wish keeping it real was contagious. Because there's a lot of people out here, man, who just fake it, man. It's just so fake, and it's like, I can't stand that fakeness. So if I ever move with that energy, I want to be checked for it. Because that's not me. That is not me, man. You know, that is not me. I don't want to come across as any sort of arrogant person or regardless of anything that I've got in my life or anything like that. Like, uh, before, 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 God, I'm a child of the most high. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, come into this, I come into this world, you know, just with my bare flesh. And that's the way I'll leave. And I, I know that. So, you know, I've, I've got to remember that and keep that in my head. And you guys need to use it as well just to stay, to stay, you know, Stay, be able to be humble in, in, in growth. You know, it's absolutely fact, man. So yeah, quick little message, man. Make sure you're checking yourself each and every day. This is not an ear tickling. This is not an ear tickling message. This is for people who who know that, like, you know, they're human. They make mistakes, and and, and there's room to always grow. You know, what I'm saying it's true wisdom, man. True wisdom. You learn from your mistakes, like 100. percent So have a blessed and beautiful day, man. Take this message of what you will. In Jesus' name, and amen.